Ptera, which is death, is preceded by a category that in Jewish tradition is known as Goses. Someone who is a Goses is someone who is in the final throes of life, the beginning of death. It is important during this period that nothing be done to hasten the death, even as nothing needs to be done to hold it off. Rather, the basic rule is to allow nature to take its course. During this period of time, anyone who is accompanying the dying person, who is there with him or her, has his responsibility to make it easy for the dying to occur. Easy means, first of all, emotionally easy. To let that person go to his or her death without any unfinished business, with any, out any unfulfilled promises, and also by removing the burden of sin. And so one of the elements of what goes on during this period is that the dying person is encouraged to recite a confessional. It is a confessional that is filled with formulaic sayings rather than particular individual confessions. This is called the vidui. And if the person can't say it himself or herself, then the one who's accompanying him should make it uh, his or her responsibility to help in that recitation. The moment of someone's death is also important for those who are there accompanying him. And so much is made about the holiness of the sacred character of this moment, not only for the dead or the dying, but also for the living. It's considered to be a privilege to be with such a person at this moment uh, as he or she is about to die. It's a moment of reflection, not only for the dying person, but in the tradition, the assumption is that it is also a moment of reflection for he or she who is there accompanying and trying to ease that passage. So that is what we know about Gosses.